Yeremiyahu, Jeremiah 32. The word that came to El Yeremiyahu from Yahuwah in the tenth year of Sidikiyahu, king of Yahudah, which was the eighteenth year of Nebuchadni Setsar. For then the king of Babel's army besieged Yerushalayim, and Yeremiyahu the prophet was shut up in the court of the prison, which was in the king of Yahudah's house. For Sidik Yahu, king of Yahudah, had shut him up, saying, Wherefore do ye, rather, do you prophesy and say, Thus says Yahuwah, Behold, I will give at this city into the hand of the king of Babel, and he shall take it. And Sidik Yahu, king of Yahudah, shall not escape out of the hand of the Kazdim, but shall surely be delivered into the hand of the king of Babel, and shall speak with him mouth to mouth, and his eyes shall behold at his eyes, and he shall lead at Sidik Yahu to Babel, and there shall he be until I visit him, says Yahuwah. Though ye fight at with the Kazdim, ye shall not prosper. And Yeremiah said, the word of Yahuwah came unto me, saying, Behold, Hanam El, the son of Shalom, your uncle, shall come unto you, saying, Buy you at my field that is in Anathoth, for the right of redemption is yours to buy it. So Hanam El, my uncle's son, came to me in the court of the prison, according to the word of Yahuwah, and said unto me, Buy F my field, I pray you, that is in Anathoth, which is in the country of Binyamin, for the right of inheritance is yours, and the redemption is yours. Buy it for yourself. Then I knew that this was the word of Yahuwah. And I bought the F field of Hanam El, my uncle's son, that was in Anathoth, and weighed him at the money, even seventeen shekels of silver, and I subscribed the evidence and sealed it, and took witnesses, and weighed him the money in the balances. So I took at the evidence of the purchase, both at that which was sealed according to the commandment and custom, and that at which was open. And I gave at the evidence of the purchase unto Baruch, the son of Neriyahu, the son of Maaseyahu, in the sight of Hanam El, my uncle's son, and in the presence of the witnesses that subscribed the sefer of the purchase before all the Yahudim that sat in the court of the prison. And I charged at Baruch before them, saying, Thus says Yahuwah Sevaoth, the yellow high of Yashara'el. Take at these evidences, at this evidence of the purchase, both at which is sealed, and at this evidence which is open, and put them in an earthen vessel, that they may continue many days. For thus says Yahuwah Sevaoth, the yellow high of Yashara'el, Houses and fields and vineyards shall be possessed again in this land, now when I had delivered at the evidence of the purchase unto Baruch, the son of Neriyahu, I prayed unto El Yahuwah, saying, Ah, Adonai Yahuwah, behold, you have made at the heavens and at the earth by your great power and stretched out arm, and there is nothing too hard for you. You show loving kindness unto thousands and recompense the iniquity of the fathers into the bosom of their children after them. Ha Gadol, Hael, Gibor, Yahuwah Sevaoth is his name. Great in counsel and mighty in work, for your eyes are open upon all the ways of the sons of men. 
to give everyone according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doings, which have set signs and wonders in the land of Mitzrayim even unto this day, and in Yashadael, and among other men, and have made you a name as at this day, and have brought forth at your people at Yashadael out of the land of Mitzrayim with signs and with wonders, and with a strong hand, and with a stretched out arm, and with great terror, and have given them at this land, which you did swear to their fathers to give them, a land flowing with milk and honey. And they came in and possessed it, but they obeyed not your voice, neither walked in your Torah. They have done nothing of eth all that you commanded them to do, Therefore you have caused eth all this evil to come upon them. Behold the mounts, they are come unto the city to take it, and the city is given into the hand of the Kazdim that fight against it because of the sword, and of the famine, and of the pestilence, and what you have spoken is come to pass. And behold, you see it. And you have said unto me, O Adonai Yahuwah, buy the field for money, and take witnesses, for the city is given into the hand of the Kazdim. Then came the word of Yahuwah unto El Yeremiyahu, saying, Behold, I am Yahuwah, the Elohai of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? Therefore, thus says Yahweh, Behold, I will give eth this city into the hand of the Kazdim and into the hand of Nebud Kadni Satsar, king of Babel, and he shall take it. And the Kazdim that fight against this city shall come and set fire on eth this city and burn it eth with the houses upon whose roofs they have offered incense unto Baal, and poured out drink offerings unto other Elohim to provoke me to anger. For the children of Yashadael and the children of Yahudah have only done evil before me from their youth. For the children of Yashadael have only provoked me to anger with the work of their hands, says Yahweh. For this city has been to me as a provocation of anger and of my fury from the day that they built it, even unto this day, that I should remove it from before my face because of all the evil of the children of Yashadael and of the children of Yahudah, which they have done to provoke me to anger. They, their, their kings, their princes, their priests, and their prophets, and the men of Yahudah, and the inhabitants of Yerushalayim. And they have turned unto me the back, and not the face. Though I taught them, rising up early and teaching them, yet they have not hearkened to receive instruction, but they have set their abominations in the house, which is called by my name, to defile it. And they built at the high places of Baal, which are in the valley of the son of Hinnom, to cause at their sons and at their daughters to pass through the fire unto Molech, which I commanded them not. Neither came it into my mind that they should do this abomination, to cause at Yahudah to sin. And now, therefore, thus says Yahuwah, the Elohai of Yashadael, concerning this city, whereof ye say, It shall be delivered into the hand of the king of Babel by the sword, and by the famine, and by the pestilence. Behold, I will gather them out of all countries, whither I have driven them in my anger, 
and in my fury, and in great wrath. And I will bring them again unto this place, and I will cause them to dwell safely. And they shall be my people, and I will be their Elohim. And I will give them one heart and one way, that they may fear me forever, for the good of them and of their children after them. And I will cut an everlasting covenant with them, that I will not turn away from them to do them good, but I will put eth my fear in their hearts, that they shall not depart from me. Yea, I will rejoice over them to do them good, and I will plant them in this land assuredly with my whole heart and with my whole soul. For thus says Yahuwah, like as I have brought eth all this great evil upon this people, so will I bring upon them eth all the good that I have promised them. And fields shall be bought in this land, whereof ye say, It is desolate without man or beast. It is given into the hand of the Kazdim. Men shall buy fields for money, and subscribe evidences, and seal them, and take witnesses in the land of Binyamin, and in the places about Yerushalayim, and in the cities of Yahudah, and in the cities of the mountains, and in the cities of the valley, and in the cities of the Negev. For I will cause their captivity to return, says Yahuwah.